former President Goodluck Jonathan, Nigeria did not have the best of relations with the U.S. over Boko Haram. After initially offering to help find the missing Chibok girls last year, the U.S. pulled out of the search operation following complaints it wasn't getting the cooperation of the Nigerian military and the government at the time. It also blocked Nigeria's attempt to buy weapons to fight Boko Haram over allegations of human rights abuses by Nigerian soldiers. But all of that has now changed. Nigeria now has a new government and relations between both countries are now back to normal. More reason why, according to analysts, the Nigerian government is welcoming the decision of the U.S. to send 300 troops to Cameroon to help in the fight against the insurgents. Uh, the assistance to Cameroon is because Cameroon is now a new threat. The threat against Nigeria is real and it's existential and it's on ground and it's a deadly threat. But now the same threat has developed in Cameroon, so they need help. So they have asked for that help and the help is being offered to them. Now perhaps uh, since uh, Mr. President of Nigeria has been traveling around seeking help from uh, the Western nations, perhaps we might see a new uh, lease of um, foreign uh, help in terms of military help on Nigerian soil uh, in the not too distant future. On its own, Nigeria is intensifying the fight against the insurgents. President Buhari has given the military a three-month deadline to end the insurgency. Military commanders say they are poised to meeting that deadline, which is December. But Boko Haram too is not showing any sign of relenting, carrying out a wave of bombing campaigns with seeming relative ease. There is no way you defeat terrorism uh, on some kind of a timetable. Say, okay, in three months you'll be defeated, you'll be gone. It doesn't happen. Terrorism is not something that just goes overnight. And I think that is part of the uh, problem we have. Uh, both our leadership and perhaps even also our military, they don't understand the asymmetric nature of the uh, conflict we have at hand. They don't understand that this is a multi-faceted, multi-frontal war, improvised war. I think what the president meant was that the holding of territory by Boko Haram should be over by perhaps December 31st. But that does not mean that Boko Haram terrorism or, or that Boko Haram will be defeated because Boko Haram is, still a, is, a, is, a, is a viper and it will continue to sting until we put in the necessary security architecture, until we ad address the asymmetric nature of the threat that we have here. The presidency still maintains the insurgency will be defeated by year's end. But whether Boko Haram can be defeated across the Lake Chad Basin countries on that timeline is very tricky. A much-awaited regional force to take on the sect is yet to be deployed. And in the absence of that force, Boko Haram continues to grow its influence in the region. Deji Bible, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.